Hello and welcome to Midweek Munchies with me, Ben, and here's Gimli. Yes, you got stuck in the snow today, didn't you? I hope you've had loads of fun in the snow, sledging, making snowmen, having snowball fights. Your experience wasn't so fun. No, it wasn't, was it? You got stuck in a snow drift, yes. And you tried to eat your way out. Yeah, you're always talking about eating, aren't you? It didn't work, did it? No, no. But you got out in the end, yes. I wondered why you look like you've been dragged through a head ba- hedge backwards. You always look a bit scruffy. Well, that's true. Yes, exactly. And you're very excited now, aren't you? Yes, because you're going to get a banana because it's tastier than snow. Right, there you go then. <laughs> He's very excited because we're going to have a great big feast later on. Yes, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to have biscuits and cakes Burgers and ice cream, biscuits and cakes, yeah, I said that already. Chocolate and cake, yes. And ice cream, yes. You get the idea, we're gonna have a great big feast, aren't we? And you've invited a very special guest, have you? Well, I didn't know about that. Who's this special guest? Yeah? Oh, okay, so he's green with bumpy skin. And he likes swimming, okay and he left a muddy trail on the carpet. I wondered what that muddy trail was. Well, who made that? Yeah, Yeah, no, I don't like the sound of this guest, no. He's very nice and he'll eat lots, okay. Um, Is it an animal, Gimli? How did I guess? Well, mm, green and bumpy skin sounds a bit like some sort of reptile. I'm right, am I? I thought so. Is it a crocodile? Completely right. Wow, a crocodile. I um, <laughs> don't know if I really like the idea of having a crocodile in our house. Yeah, he's called Crocky the Crocodile, is it? Oh, oh, hello. Is it, is, hello, Crocky. He's your new friend, is he? Okay, right, and he's very young. He's just left home, has he? Okay, and he's very keen to eat lots of food. Okay, well, maybe later. Um, Well, why have you brought him here, though? Because you thought he needed a bit of looking after and feeding up. He's not very good at feeding himself at the moment. Oh, okay. Well, it's very kind of you to invite Crocky the Crocodile. He's kind of not your usual friend. He's a bit different to you. Yeah, but he's he's a very good friend, is he? Well, I'm really impressed, Gimli. It's lovely to invite somebody who is different to you and who can be a new friend for you. He's very special, that's brilliant. Well, I am very impressed. I think you and uh, Crocky the Crocodile can join in with our great feast later on. But let's have the story first. And and maybe if you're at home and you have some cuddly toys and some food that you'd like to share with them, you can get all cozy and set out a little tea party or something and we'll have the great feast story in a moment. Bye everybody, says Gimli. Yeah, we'll have a great feast, won't we? You bet. Bye. Are you ready for the great feast? In this story, you can join in in two ways. Whenever you hear, it's dinner time, I'd like you to imagine your mum or dad calling you downstairs for dinner, for dinner time. So ready, let's shout it together. It's dinner time. And the second thing you can do is when you hear the guests being invited and they make their excuses, And they say, I'm sorry, I can't come. Can you say that? I'm sorry, I can't come. Brilliant. So let's start our story, The Great Feast. Jesus was eating at the house of an important religious leader. During the meal, he said to his host, when you have a big lunch like this, don't ask your rich friends and your relatives to come along. They will just invite you to one of their fancy dinners to pay you back for your hospitality. No, ask the poor and the lame and the blind to come to your house. They won't be able to repay you, but you will get a reward when the resurrection comes. When one of the other guests heard this, he said to Jesus, The man who gets to eat at the feast, the feast of the kingdom of God, is truly blessed. 
Then Jesus told him a parable, a story that went something like this. There was once a man who prepared a great banquet. He invited lots of important guests. When the time came for the banquet to begin, he sent out his servant to tell the guests that everything was ready for them. It's dinner time, said the servant to the first guest. But the first guest shook his head. And he said, sorry, I can't come. I've just bought a field and I have to go and inspect it. You know, check the soil and make sure the fences are all right, that sort of thing. Please pass on my apologies on to your master. So the servant went to the next guest. It's dinner time, he announced. But that guest shook his head too. Sorry, I can't come, he said. I've just bought some oxen and I need to go and try them out. You know, see how strong they are, how well they pull the wagon, that sort of thing. Please pass on my apologies to your master. So the servant went to another guest. It's dinner time, he announced. And there was more head shaking. Sorry, I can't come, said the third guest. I've just got married and, well, you know, uh, there's the honeymoon and all the kissy kissy stuff. Well, it is nearly Valentine's Day. You know, thank you notes to write, that sort of thing. Please pass on my apologies to your master. When the servant told his master what had happened, the master was furious. Go out into the streets, he told his servant. Wander up and down the lanes and alleys and invite the poor people, the blind, the lame to my feast. So that's what the servant did. It's dinner time, he shouted up and down the streets. My master has prepared a wonderful meal for you. The poor and the blind and the lame flocked to the house. But still, there was room for more. Go to the country then, the master said, to the roads and the lanes. Invite them all. Make them all come into my house so that my house will be full. But I tell you this, he added, none of those men who made excuses will taste even a tiny morsel of the food that I've prepared. I hope you like that story. And I hope you like the reminder about inviting everybody, welcoming everybody. It's time to pray now. So we're going to join in with some wow prayers. So W with your hands. And we're going to say a thank you prayer to God. And we're going to also say please. Let's start with our wow prayer. Wow God, you are so kind to everyone and you love all of us. Wow God, you invite everyone to your great feast. Thank you God that you are kind to us. Please help us to show your kindness to anybody. And now we're going to say a few prayers, just whispering prayers to God. Because we don't have to say prayers out loud. We can say them in our hearts. We can say prayers in our heads. And it can be just between us and God. And nobody else needs to hear. So, are you ready? You can whisper them in your hands or just say them quietly in your hearts. First of all, I'd like you just to tell God what you hope you're having for pudding tomorrow. And now, can you tell God about someone who you're most glad that he created? And now tell God about someone that you'd like him to help. Whisper a prayer to God now for that person. 
that maybe God would show his love or his kindness to them. And then we can finish our prayer by saying Amen together. Amen. Oh, it's great, isn't it? Just spending this time thinking about parties. I've got all of my invitations here. And if you want to journal today in your Bible, we're in Luke 14, verses 12 to 24. And I just want to think about this idea that we are invited into God's heavenly banquet. Now, I've got all my invitations out here. We've got loads from over the years with different parties. And I chose this R2D2 one because we love Star Wars in this family. And I'm just writing an invitation from God to me, inviting me to come to God's heavenly banquet. And I want to invite you to do the same today. Either make yourself an invitation or find an old invitation from a party long ago that's already been and gone and write out the invitation that God is sending to you today. God invites us all into his heavenly banquet, into his party in heaven, into eternal life with him. You see, the good news about all these things that we are looking at in Midweek Munchie is that they are for all of us and we are all invited. And so to celebrate that, I am doing a shiny, glittery, sparkly background to this Bible page using my shiny watercolour paints and some bubble wrap. And I'm just painting it onto my bubble wrap and then printing that onto the page so that the page ends up all sparkly, all shiny and really fun and spotty. Now the, the first print is definitely the spottiest. So if you want yours to be really spotty, then only do one print with it and then fill it up with paint again. But if you don't mind your printing gradually fading out like mine does, you can print it a few times but you will need to dry it or wait for it to dry in between so that your, pa your paints don't all mix together and end up in one muddy puddle of brown. <laughs> so that's all I'm, oh, excuse me, all I'm doing, I'm just layering up all the different paints onto my page, creating this big celebration because God's invited us to come to his party. And I don't know how you feel about that. Is that a party that you already are expecting to go to? Are you excited about coming to join Jesus in heaven? Or is it something you've not really thought about for yourself? It doesn't matter how old you are or how young you are. Everybody is invited to come and join Jesus and all of his followers in heaven. And so this morning, if you want to say yes to that, invitation i'm just going to pray a simple prayer and you can say yes to jesus this morning so father god thank you that you invite all of us to come and be at your heavenly banquet and this morning we want to say yes please we want to come too lord we're sorry for the things that we've done wrong and we pray that we can be with you forever and ever Thank you, Jesus. In your precious name. Amen. If you prayed that prayer today for the first time, we've got um, something we'd like to send you. So if you um, have your parents' permission, or even better, ask your parents to do it for you, make sure they know that you've prayed this morning. Fill in the form in our link tree in the description below this video. We'd love to hear from you. So Maisie and I are going to do a game called Cookie Face and you can join in at home as well if you like with your favourite biscuit. Mine is a rich tea. What's your biscuit Maisie? Mm, mm. Favourite chocolate digestive which mm. I love too. Okay the idea is you put your biscuit, you put your biscuit on your face and you have to wiggle your face muscles until the biscuit goes towards your mouth and you have to get it in your mouth without using your hands. Can we do it Maisie? Yes. Ready? If it falls then you might have to like um, get it with your mouth and yeah. make sure it And then pick it up again and have another go if it doesn't quite get into your mouth. Yeah. Right, ready? On your face. Steady. Go. <laughs> oh, we failed on that one. 
Alan again. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah. Danny wins! Amazing but everyone's skill. a winner in this oh, game because you get to eat, eat the biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Except from us. Come on, Maisie, come and join us. Chocolate digester's finished now. You enjoyed that, didn't you? <laughs> well, down, no one can see. we hope you enjoyed the great feast today and our series of midweek munchies. We're looking forward to a great feast for our team. <laughs> it might it involve chips if Simeon's got anything to do with it. Yes, yes. I've got a lot to do with it. But we will definitely have, we have fish cakes. <laughs> well, <laughs> we what? hope that just like in the great feast, you'll look out for acts of kindness with each other and your family, people that you meet, people that um, bring you shopping or post, and that you'll make sure you look out for each other. We'll hope to do something else with you and we'll keep in touch through Leanne's uh, YouTube channel, Bible Journaling with Leanne. And also in the meantime, check out the Lightway Facebook page for 40 Acts of Kindness. So we'll be in touch and we send you all lots and lots of love. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.